Today we're going to talk about using your compass to set up a navigational course to improve your compass skills. You'll want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. I've always enjoyed using a compass course to improve my navigational skills. In a previous video, we talked about how to use your compass and I brought a couple of different types to use today and we're going to demonstrate how to use them again and also how to use the course for you and your family. Here we go. To set up a course is very simple. Just use your favorite compass. You'll need a notepad and a pen to write your directions on and either some surveyor's tape that you can just tie to some limbs and remove them later or for a night hike or a night navigation course I like to use reflectors or some reflective tape. We call that a cat eye hike and it's really fun to set up and it's fun to do at night. So this is going to be our starting point. We'll just tear off a little bit of our surveyor's tape, tie it onto a, a limb. And this will be our starting point. Then what I want to do is look and decide where's the next point that we want to navigate to. So I'll get my compass. So here's the compass that we used to teach compass skills in a previous video. And so what I'll do is make sure that the compass is set to north. Then there's a direction of travel arrow on the compass base. We'll set that to the direction and point that exactly at the area that we want to go. And then I can read that I'm going to go 120 degrees. And now what I have to do is pace off my steps and tell you how far it is. I'll write that on my notepad and that will be our first marker. As you're setting up your course, you can see that our distance from the starting point to our first target is not very far. And it's a great thing to do that, to start easy and then work your way into some further distances. Another tip that you want to be aware of is once you get your setting, look and see where you're going to go, pick your target, and don't walk looking down at your compass because you can easily wander off. So pick your target, let's count our steps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got another yard here, so 22 paces. From the start, this is our first marker. We'll just tie it off. And then take our pen and paper and write that we've gone 120 degrees for 22 paces, which for me are about three feet per pace, 22 yards or 66 feet. Now let's mark our next target. All right, let's set our second direction. And just a tip as you're doing this, it's winter time here and I've got a coat that's got a metal zipper on it. And so the needle on your compass is activated by magnetism. And so hold that away from anything that's metal to make sure you get a true reading. All right, we're just going to go across a little bit. So I'll get my compass out. Get a new reading. Now that we've done some short ones, let's do a little bit longer and challenge ourselves. This is the beginnings of our navigation course. And of course you can make it as difficult or as easy as you like. Our plan is once we get out through this parking lot, that we can turn up onto the mountain and make it a little bit more challenging for those that are gonna come and try the course behind us. Let me show you what I've written down so that you can use that as a pattern when you set up your course. So you can see this is the start of our navigational course where we started at 120 degrees, went 22 yards, and then just continued on and on. Uh, we're going to make this about a 10 different point course so it'll be a little bit more challenging and get more difficult as we go. We hope that this has been fun and informational for you. 
and we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.